start at a, a, a grassroots level. And if your core values are any less than what this country was founded on, please step down and let someone else with higher values lead us. Now is the time to act before too much is lost. Thank you very much. How many legal owners have gone off the rail and killed people? Not very many. And another thing I want to say, uh, actually two more things. I want to say that a gun is always loaded. And you, when you touch a gun, you better believe it's loaded until you absolutely have verified several times that it is not. And looking down the barrel is not one of those like. <laughs> <laughs> and the word shall not be infringed. Shall not holds the letter of the law. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Linda Eskridge, and I'm also on the school board of Malala, and this is my dear husband. And I just... You're not speaking for the school no, board. No, no, I'm not speaking for the school board. I'm just speaking for myself. And I just wanted to say, go for that resolution I'm all for you. And that's all I had to say. Oh <laughs> Mr. Eskridge bringing up the oath we took. I just thought I would uh, read the oath that I just took about a month ago on, on January 5th, I believe. I, Paul Savas, having been duly elected to the office of Clackamas County Commissioner Position 2, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Clackamas County Commissioner Position 2 to the best of my ability. That's what I swore to. I swore to many times, and I think I've been sworn in six times in the last 15 years. I take that seriously, and um, I, I do, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for someone. I, I maybe, I'm not sure who it's going to be, but someone can reconcile that law. I, Mr. Eskridge did speak to the letter of the law and the Constitution, and I, and you know, there again, that judicial piece is the part I'm interested in. in people uh, speaking to as far as the, how the interpretation and honoring of the Supreme Court. I think that is such a key piece of this because that's really the balance of power in our three branches of government and how law is interpreted. I know that some people are bothered by that. I get that. Um, but I do think that uh, both in 2008 and 2010, I think that the ruling was it upheld the right for people to, to have a, a, a weapon uh, or a gun or self-defense purpose. I think that is clear both in the state or Oregon State Constitution and also in the United States Constitution. I think that's perfectly clear and, um, and I support that. It's all the other ancillary things that go along with that that are probably going to be in question when it comes to background checks, which were upheld by, by the Supreme Court in 2008 and 10. Yes, gentlemen. 